Greetings, I'm Megaharv, and welcome back to Breath of Fire 2, the retranslation. So I got Dai all stocked and ready to go for this next area, so I am going to do the next flag trip and scenes, because you can only do this part of the game at nighttime. Just to try to teach you, hey, you gotta do stuff at night sometimes, just like in real life. Hey, you want to see the lady fighter? Hey, you and a thousand others. Tickets are sold out, pal. Didn't you hear? If you're that crazy about seeing her perform, you could always enter the battle show yourself, I guess. Bunyan's gonna be the opponent for her debut match, though. So unless you're him, you're gonna have to wait. Is that so? Hey, hey! You hear about that lady fighter in the next battle show? She's up against a real bruiser, some lumberjack from Tagsy Woods named Bunyan. Funny name, that. I hope that crazy hillbilly doesn't get any nasty ideas when he's alone in the ring with that girl. Like, trying to, like, touch her with his bunions, perhaps? The next battle show is going to be the most awesome ever. They've got a genuine warrior princess on display. Man, sexy and tough as nails. Does it get any better? Well, if you get to hammer those nails. Rand has his neat tricks where he rolls up in a ball and rolls across the countryside at crazy speed. I've tried doing it myself, but all I've managed to do is hurt my back in a bunch of places. Ow. Are you asking me for directions? No? Well, I'll give you some anyway. Oh, thanks, babe. Head north from here and you'll find yourself in Tagsy Woods. Due west of there is Windia. Hey, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to get that off my chest for a while now. Yeah, I've been wanting to get something off your chest for a while now, too. So let us raid the cupboards, because there's usually loot to plunder from innocent, nearly desolate people. So I picked up a smoke bomb, which I should probably pick up some more smoke bombs, because they decrease enemy attacks. Hey you, yeah you, you got a few zenny you could spare? I'm trying to get me a new house. But the carpenters ain't too sympathetic. Yeah, I'm not too sympathetic either for your plight at this moment in time. All this talk about plight makes me want to go to the bathroom. Oh, you don't need the toilet, do you? Don't mind me, I won't look. Could you step out for a second or lock the door? I don't have a lot of money. This bathroom stall is the only place I can afford to rent. Who rents out a bathroom? You get the smell after a while. But I hate it when people leave the seat up. Why? So, like, you, you're one of those people that doesn't look to see if the seat's down before you go to sit down? I, I just, I've never understood that, like, why that's always such a huge point of contention in the bathroom. Just, just put the seat down. I'll put the seat up, you put the seat down. I probably won't even put the seat up. I, my aim's not that bad, I can just aim in the middle. I just, I don't get it. Hey, you here to see the lady fighter? Well, she doesn't fight ladies. Well, she probably does, but that's not her specialty. I was hoping I'd catch a glimpse of her, but, typic but tickets are sold out and the scalpers charge a fortune. I'm so excited to see this this uh, very sexy cat that I'm stumbling all over my own words. Man, this makes me want to see her all the more. If she's this popular, she must be a real cutie. The Colosseum has stood on this spot since antiquity, long before the battle show even existed. Imagine! The strongest men in the world, battling for supremacy in the land of her ancestors. Every blow, every punch, every slice, carving its mark into the face of history. I get shivers just thinking about it. Talk to me. I hear there's a woman competing in the next battle show. I don't know who she is or what she looks like, but she's ready to throw down with the scum of the earth you see around here. Damn, she must be sexy. Er, I mean, tough. Yeah, that's it. Um. Do they make pinups of the fighters? If they want to have any money go through this desolate city, then yes. Yes, they shall do so for our purposes. So I decided to wear my Alex from River City Ransom shirt today, even though I'm playing Breath of Fire 2, rather than River City Ransom Underground, which if you haven't watched yet, you should totally watch that when you're done watching the Breath of Fire 2 that you'll be watching. 
So we got ourselves uh, a harpy and a bugbear. That looks more bear than bug. But I'm gonna bug him. And as you may notice, I'm now level 8. I decided to grind up a level, because this part can be pretty difficult. It doesn't really help that those harpies just continue to heal the bugbears. And that harpy reminds me that I was talking earlier today about how, like, it's a common fantasy of people to, like, you see, like, Superman and stuff to go around and be like, I'm gonna fly all over the place. But could you imagine if everyone in the world was flying? How chaotic everything would be? Oh, we got a... It's Trent. Hi, Trent. How are you? Long time no see. But yeah, seeing as this battle didn't interrupt my speech any more than it has, the, uh, yeah, it'd be utter chaos if everyone flew around, like how many accidents we'd get into, like probably fatal accidents, people just belligerently flying around. And would there be like, would there be like flying while intoxicated bands all over the world? Because otherwise we would just, there's Bunyan. But the entire ecosystem would just be a mess. What's in here? Healing herb. Because if you're flying around, you get all kinds of bugs in your mouth. Oh, I haven't shown you these guys, even though they have a meter. A man-eater meter. What was I saying? Something about bugs. Yeah, that there'd be bugs in your mouth, and that it would just... You just eat all kinds of insects. Like, people would get way more protein sources from insects, but then other animals would just... Overpopulate, I reckon. And then you'd also have to worry about running into birds and stuff. Like, it really... I really don't think it would be good for 7 billion people to be flying around. Although it might make for more, like, man-made islands in the oceans. To help. I'm definitely missing a treasure, but I'll get it on the plate. No, I better get... Potentially a treasure. It also just registered to me that I forgot to stay at the inn. So I should go back to the town and go in the inn and recover all of my AP. It was indeed a good idea. I'm glad I wasn't wasn't indecisive about that choice. Otherwise, I might have been in big trouble. So let us continue with our intrepid journey to cast Bunyan to the netherworld. You thought I was gonna somehow work in another in pun, did in you. All of you at home right now must be incensed at all of these in puns. These random battles take so long that I can come up with more in puns. For instance, that last battle, I got the initiative. The in initiative. So I'll just run away. 100% chance of fleeing. Yes, and I may as well touch on the coin. See, all these in puns are saving me. I can just run away. Okay, I think I've, uh, I've kind of driven that joke into the ground. So yeah, the coin. You collect the coins for a later point in the game, and if you don't make a right decision later, then you'll never be able to use them. I'm not even sure if you can sell them. I may as well use some of these healing herbs. Healing herbs or sardines. Doesn't matter if I use healing herbs or omega-3s. What do we got? Picked up smoke bomb. Maybe I can just try that out now. I'm not sure if the smoke bomb actually works on enemies you're not stronger than. But now's a good time to try. But you use a smoke bomb, and it turns a little dancing dude up there a different color. That's how you know it's, it's active. But we'll find out if it's effective. So far it doesn't seem incredibly effective. But I will get this last treasure chest down here. It's somewhat insulting that I can keep up in puns for the entirety of this dungeon. I'll even use bad in puns. I am indiscriminate towards bad puns. 
All right, this next fight is going to be intense. So I better do a little bit of healing uh, to top it all off. Now that I think about it, I believe my strategy before, rather than using the cockroach, using that fire thing on the cockroach, I think I used it on old Bunyan here to burn his Bunyans off. So let's see how this goes. Huh? You want to take my place in the battle show? Heh, <laughs> you're talking crazy, boy. And my cure for crazy is a nice big axe right between the eyes. Have I mentioned how much I love this battle music? I just, it's... I enjoy it immensely. Too bad I couldn't turn that into an in pun. Anyway, I managed to do a... Death Blow attack, which is extra strong. Now maybe someone who knows more about Breath of Fire than me knows the answer to this. But in the original version of Breath of Fire, you can do just like a regular critical attack. I can't remember what it's called. But sometimes you can do a toasted? And I only ever remember seeing Jean do a toasted attack. I don't know if he's the only one who can, or if it's just like... A certain weapon can do toasteds. Or if it's really just a critical, but it's like a, a bug that wasn't worked out. If anyone actually knows the answer to that, and feels like enlight enlightening me, please do. Bunyan. No way. I lost to a runt like you? Damn. I must be out of practice. Alright, you win, boy. You can take my place in the battle show. Take my axe with you. With a little luck, they ought to mistake you for me. I don't know about that there, Bunyan. Losing to a kid? Damn. Now I've seen everything. Guess it's about time I retire from this stuff. Do I need to heal? No, not really. But I will meet you back in the town. In it. And now you witness us back in the town in an instant. I hope you realize that I'm going to have to make in puns every time I see them for the rest of this episode. It's just instinct. So I'm going to store all of my money so I don't forget to do that. I also gained another level on my way back. Maybe I should have healed, but I didn't. But I didn't. I'll just use one of my fish. I have a lot of spare fish. I can catch more. So, do I want to go to the pub? I can't remember if I want to go to the pub. Or if I just want to go straight to the Coliseum. I might want to just go straight to the Coliseum. We're going to find out here in just a bit. No, I guess we do have to wait till night. I have to wait till nightfall. A girl with bat wings, you say? Strange thing to look for in a date. But I don't feel like asking questions. You get a lot of weird folks around here at night. Maybe your dream girl or someone who's seen her will turn up then. Why just hang around till nightfall? Why not? Can you tie a why not? I can't. Maybe a slipknot. Okay, randy dandy. Hey, that axe you're carrying. You must be Bunyan. Yes. Huh? You don't look a thing like I was expecting. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. With your rep, I was expecting a genuine mad dog. Now, that would have been a fight to see. A dog and a cat. Spunky little lady beats the snot out of Axe Crazy Lunatic. Never mind my sword, though. Well, whatever. You two have fun, or mayhem, or whatever makes you happy in there. I still have to do my job, but if you're still in one piece after the show, let's meet up around here for a drink, okay? Alright, Rand. Sounds like a plan. So, I still have no cash, right? I don't think I need it. <laughs> I forgot. Well, I don't know if it actually changes your name to Bunyan in the original or not. I just, it's been a while. But it does in this version. I think I want to go this way. No, I must have to talk to one of these gentlemen. I just walk right by the gentleman and they're like, screw that guy. Attention, participants, please enter through the door on the right. Okay, fine then. 
Attention, da 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 da. Yeah, okay, sure. It's a good thing I spoke to you guys. I could have swore it was the left, but clearly not. We've been waiting for you, Mr. Bunyan. The HR director would like a word with you before we begin. Please go to the center room for your interview. Would that word be Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Vacaniconiosis? Try to spell that three times fast. Center room? Okay, work this time. Hey. Hiya! Oh yeah. You, uh, you gonna chain me to that wall? You, uh, you like what I see with my long flowing blue hair and my, my bulging biceps and my, my sleek and slender form that would nicely complement your V-taper. I got 169 experience. Here's looking at you. And one zenny. Hmm. What a nice body you have. You pass. Well, that settles it. Hmm. What a nice body you have. You're too kind. You pass, Mr. Bunyan. Please proceed to the room on the right. The manager is waiting. Let's... let's attack. Greetings and welcome, Mr. Bunyan. I'm the manager of the battle show. You may call me Argus. I thought it said Angus for a second. I was gonna go, Gus to me pals! And two of you would get the reference. It seems you're in luck, Mr. Bunyan. Your first opponent is a petite young maiden. That is to say, a girl. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? I hope she's easy enough. Oh, but by no means turn your back on this one. Despite her feminine wiles, wills, willies, wheels, wiles, she nonetheless possesses the fighting instinct of a wild animal. She'll be quite the challenge, shall she? First and foremost, make it look good and stick to the script at all costs. Oh no, he's getting evil on me, for you see, I already have everything planned in advance in this corner. Bunyan, a warrior with a mad gleam in his eye, and an unquenchable thirst for blood. And in this corner, his opponent, the beautiful flower of the battlefield, adored by all who witness her in combat. And finally, the audience, cheering with the force of a storm as the maniacal Bunyan mercilessly CRUSHES THE LIFE OF THE GIRL! Beautiful, isn't it? This is the art I strive for. Tragedy, cruelty, and bloodlust. The foaming masses eat it up! Oh, don't worry that you've never acted in a performance like this before. No matter how bad your stage fright gets, I've taken measures to ensure that my script is executed flawlessly. You see, <laughs> there'll be snipers armed with poison dots, and they'll shoot the girl during the match. Of course, there's always the chance you might get hit by accident. But that's entertainment. All you have to do is dodge the darts. If you can pull that off, then fame and fortune shall be yours. It's deadly work, but I assure you, you'll be richly recompensated for your performance! I've already taken the liberty of having quite a handsome advance payment put in the locker room for you. Once you see it, I'm certain you'll loosen up a bit. <laughs> I didn't know you swung that way. Break some legs out there! Ta-ta! He was way too excited about that whole thing in a very evil fashion. I'm a little taken aback by it. <clears throat> I don't know where that all came from. So which one's the locker room? This one? Or this one? Must be the door that opens. So first, we get the money and leave. Immediately leave. And go to the bank. And get the monies stored away for reasons that will become quite apparent here shortly. 
uh, Zenny, store it all. Ooh, 1001. Where'd I get the one? Oh, I must have got it from, uh, Mr. V Taper from earlier. The, uh, HR director. Human resources. I shudder to think what HR might actually stand for. I'll let your dirty minds fill in the gaps there. I'm not gonna spell that one out for you. But let us go back here. Ah, you must be Mr. Bunyan. Mr. Argus has left quite a bit of zenny here for you. You must think you're quite the catch. It's locked. Oh, and Rand just kind of appears behind the text box, because in the original version, we don't have opaque windows. Hey, having second thoughts there, Bunyan? You look white as a sheet. Didn't peg you as the type to scare easily. You didn't peg me, and Argus... Never mind. This game. What? What's this you're saying about poison darts? You really believe that stuff? Whoever told you that is just messing with your head. I can't write this, it's writing itself. It's the battle show, for crying out loud. Nobody's supposed to get killed, it's all just fun and games. What do we do? You're dead serious about this, huh? Alright, let's try this. Just keep your mouth shut and give me your... Oh, Zenny. Uh, sure. Now there's a good boy. This should be enough money for two extra strength antidotes. If you and the girl each swig one before the fight, those poison darks might be, well, spiny spitwads. How about that? Might be spiny spitwads. How about that? I'm sorry. I really... I ruined the whole episode just by referencing that meme. The entire... You know, when I started this video up, this isn't really the direction I expected it to go, but sometimes you just gotta roll with it, you know? Rand's around, you just, you gotta roll. Ow, damn. That girl's sure no shrinking violet. Stubborn as a bill bull, with ten times the bite. So, what now? The odds of getting her to listen are just about those of me winning a beauty contest. That's not bloody likely. Sorry to say the B word and offend my my viewers over the pond. Damn, what am I thinking? You could take BOTH of the antidotes! Are you sure that's a good idea? I won't OD. All you gotta do is throw yourself in the line of the fire and take the bullet. Or dart. Or whatever the kids call it these days. There's still the problem of her ripping apart- of her ripping you apart before you can save her. But if you can wear her down a bit, you can cover her whether she likes it or not. Come on, drink up. It tastes like freshly brewed hell, but you know what they say, what doesn't kill you, doesn't kill you. That's reassuring. Better green around the gills than a fresh new shade of dead. Well articulated, Rand. Good luck! So let's get ready to rumble with the kitty. Mr. Bunyan, the battle show is about to begin. Please report to the arena immediately. Fine. So I am all healed, right? So yeah, so he didn't take any of my money because I ran and put it in the bank. So I, you can get a free thousand zenny if, you, if you've played this before or watched this beforehand or other videos have done it. I, there's no way that 20 odd years later that I'm the first person to record doing this. Uh, so let's sort my inventory just for, just for kicks. I'm not actually full health, am I? No, I'm not, because I fought the, the dude guy. My AP's all full health, though. Exquisite. Well, all that innuendo stopped the puns. Everything goes according to my script. Just make sure you shoot one of the fighters before the curtain falls. What? No, it doesn't matter which one you shoot, as long as we end with one corpse and one champion. All the other variables are meaningless. <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked out of my apartment before this episode's over. But that's fine. That's them's the breaks and the fates. We tire of your patience. Let the bone crushing begin. Hey, hey, five will get you ten, the bunion guy dies in fifteen seconds. Hey, I'll take that bet. 
I'll come out on top. What kind of name is Bunyan anyway? I want to see this guy suffer. What kind of Bunyan? Yeah, just Bunyan, like one one name. Who am I to judge? Oh, ah, Lin, 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 Lin. So they keep Rand's name, but change Cat to Lin. I don't know. Not my retranslation. Say what? Snipers armed with poison darts? I'm probably just gonna call her Cat for the rest of the game, because I was, uh... just dying to make a bunch of cat puns right now. Say what? Snipers armed with poison darts? <laughs> yeah, right. You think I'll believe you just like that? You gotta be kitten. You just don't let up, do you? If you're trying to psych me out, you failed big time! You've just earned yourself a A. You've earned yourself one A class butt kicking. All right, so let's uh, battle the the pretty kitty Lin, as we have the sexiest battle of all time. Which one of these two would you rather, if you if you know what I'm saying? Because like, like I like my ladies, but that that. That Bunyan, that die, he's just, like, I, I would just tie him down and just bounce until I felt fire, you know? Woo! So worked up, this battle is so, so hot. Bunyan's strength gave out. What's going on? Why am I weakening? I don't remember that part. Was it the uh, lowbrow uh, same-sex pun I made? Like I'm not, I'm not knocking the lifestyle. I'm just saying, look at them. How can you not be like just titillated? You got 200 experience points. Get her out of the way, Bunyan! Here it comes! And I got her out of the way. You don't have to get her out of the way there. You just... I advise it. So we can... do battle... here. Well, how about I just show you? So what should I say to him if he wakes up? I guess, I'm sorry would be a good start. Or maybe, thanks for saving me? I'm no good at this apologizing stuff. Huh? Hey, hey, are you all right there? I thought you'd never wake up. Sorry, I didn't believe you about those poison darts. It's easy to forget that honest people just aren't the stuff or fairy tales in this crazy world, you know? But risking your life for somebody you don't even know, not getting paid for it, that's real crazy, you know? That's real uh, catty. Cat. Cattle. Cat. I got nothing. Oops, I said that last part out loud, didn't I? Yeah, that, I can say that about the last five minutes of this Let's Play. I won't say I understand why, but you risked your life to save mine, and for that I owe you. Right, Bunyan. I'm coming with you. <laughs> yeah, baby. I've got a bone to pick with that Argus. Just you watch. I'm gonna set a world record in rearranging his face. So much for this being, like, G-rated Let's Play. You don't have any problems with that, do you? Lynn joined the party. So let us... I'm guessing I'm rested. So I won't get arrested. But before I do the next battle, I should get... Uh, Catlin here. All dicky dude up with her... Items. With her weapon items. Uh, take... what food poisoning and being tired does to you, my friends. If you're still with me, God bless you. I'm, I'm not with me right now. So let's trade some of this stuff, make this battle a little simpler. What else can I, can I equip on this cool cat? Iron band. Is that like a metal band, but an iron band? Then a headband is like a Oh, uh, some sort of metal band that you headbang to. 
Come on, Rand. We need to end this episode. It's gone on far too long. Hey, Rand beat me to the punch here. Yes! Now, all the actors have finally assembled on the stage. It seems that none of you cared for the script I wrote. Our god, however, found my offering quite satisfying. You are all but cattle to our god! Your suffering! IS HIS SUSTENANCE! THIS BATTLE SHOW EXISTS TO SQUEEZE EVERY DROP OF WRITHING PAIN AND TWISTED PLEASURE FROM YOUR WORTHLESS SOULS! BUT YOU WANT OUR GOD TO STARVE, AND FOR THAT YOU WILL DIE IN THE MOST FANTASTIC DISPLAY OF CARNAGE EVER WITNESSED! WHAT A PITY I CAN'T KILL YOU! IN FRONT OF A PROPER AUDIENCE! I'm sorry I couldn't muster up drool for that. Kinda came to me too late. A little out of breath. But anyways, let's attack. What can I even do? Taunt. Taunt is just draws attention to uh, my lady friend here. So I'll get her to attack. I can't remember what Rouse does for Rand. Special heal or purify. I forgot Rand is like a powerhouse white mage sort of thing. But he is. <clears throat> Argus is charging up. Ow! It's a good thing I have ammonia. Um... Am I just gonna die out right here? <laughs> I very well may. Oh, Rouse is def- Yeah, that's right. Rouse is like a chance for revive. When you run out of ammonia, I probably should have just used the ammonia. You could stop charging up. Yeah, there we go. But well, we're gonna die in one hit anyway. There's no point in healing. Like I can heal Bunyan. <laughs> he's still Bunyan. I didn't even realize because they they don't know he's not really Bunyan yet. That hasn't been made evident to our heroes at this moment in time. I probably should have used. That's what I need to do. I need to use Lin to... well, I, apparently I don't even need to use the... the, uh, revive... <clears throat> the Rouse ability. And forgive me for not making a Rouse pun. I am spent. I need a towel after this episode. And it didn't even work. Uh, ammonia. I don't think this guy takes, like, a grand beating. I'm probably gonna lose half of my monies. That I put aside specifically to avoid this situation. So let's, uh... Let's attack. And try to rouse Bunyan. Hopefully this will take out Argus. Oh, he just did a regular attack? He can do that? Oh, he can... He's got two clubs, so he can do two attacks. I... I feel ya. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just... Alright, Hail Mary. Keep her fingers crossed. That's why you want to have your entire party... I'm dead. Like, I mean, I could probably go outside and grind with her a little bit. I'd like to go outside with her. And grind a little bit. I should buy some ammonias, though. So I don't die stupidly again. So yeah, in case you didn't notice, this game's hard. A 500. I'll just... I'll try them one more time, and if I, uh, if I die again, I'll just magically reappear and be like, Oh wow, look at that, I beat him my third try. It's not like I died 12 times and edited it, it, it or anything of that sort. Do what I did, but only do it less less dumbly. I'm trying to think what the better strategy would be. I probably should have... Oh, hold on. Switch, maybe? Switch? Oh, yeah, there's like different formations. Yeah, I might as well do that. Yeah. I forgot that that was an option. 
So yeah, if I get her to taunt now, and then just have Rand be like the backup healer, and since he's in the back row, he should be able to take more damage. This time I'll probably just clown him. Just because the, the game fates are like, you think you're not going to die after this episode? 20 minutes of in puns, and then like 15 minutes of innuendo, and then 5 minutes of boss battle. Let's see if we can't arouse her. Yeah. I are dead. Huh. And his gut saved him. For a second, anyway. This, I am educating you on the finer workings of Breath of Fire 2. I don't remember this battle being this hard. I must, back in the day, have saved the... that fire thing I was talking about earlier for this part. So it's clearly a waste of my time to do anything other than the auto attack. Can I defend? Yeah, maybe if I get her to def defend and get Rand to use heal, we might have a winning combination finally. Because we can get get old Bunyan to heal himself. So he might be able to survive an additional attack. And I have all kinds of sardines, like why aren't I using them? You moron. Um, yeah, so sardines, when need be, you continue to defend and you... You just attack. You keep attacking, and the other two can just continue doing you. Ooh, double dodge. So, I'm not sure if Bunyan will survive another attack. He may, he may not. It's, it's up in the air at this point. Now, if we can eke out a few more death blows. So, so yeah, aren't you glad that the uh, there's three party members here? Otherwise, this would be what they call, in my neck of the woods, tough. Well, I think I finally stumbled across the strategy, even though, like, even though it's my third time. They say third time's a charm, and third time's usually never the charm with me. Can you survive an attack? I don't remember. I just want this guy dead. Dead and buried. In that order. Or buried, then dead. That, I'd be okay with that too. Watch, he's gonna hit Lin now because I forgot the block. Wow, he didn't. I'm rather surprised. Now might be a good time to utilize my Guts ability. And then utilize Lin's, um, Defend ability. And then utilize Rand's heal ability. And see how this falls out. Will that be enough? Yeah. May very well be. Counterattack them both, please. One more counterattack. Is that how this game works? No, I guess not. But so long as I keep him above, like, 50, I guess he's okay. Then attack some more. I swear that was doing more damage earlier. Unless that was just like a low output strike in particular. And he seems to really want Bunyan to die. So I'll just operate under that assumption. Which was the correct one. Finally! Third time was the charm. That really was my third time, but you, you won't believe me. I said I was going to say it anyway. Lynn reached level 7. Good for her. The seed has already been planted! It doesn't matter how many of us defeat our god! Shall not be denied.
I may have said that wrong. Our God this, our God that. Just who the hell are you talking about? I don't know how to tell you. Soon, all of you will know his glory. It won't be long now. You'll wish I had killed you. When did I have the chance? <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know. So the bastard had some kind of demon pulling his strings, that explains a lot. Eh. Doesn't concern us. Let's get out of here while the getting's good. Hey, wait. What about me? You go back home, I guess. The battle's over. And so is the show. And what if I don't have a home? Can I come with you guys instead? Alright. I'll take strays home. I've done it before. Hey, what's that, Bunyan? <clears throat> a friend of yours is holed up in an old house somewhere. And he needs some help fixing the roof. Wow, talk about your uncanny timing. I was just thinking of quitting the showbiz crap and doing some repair work. If your friend needs a hand, I'll be happy to give him both of mine. Ooh, I'm sure he'd love you to give him both of your hands. Hey, hey, me too, me too. Oh, I got that mixed up. Any friend of Bunyan is a friend of mine. Let me help out too. Oh yeah, he stays as Bunyan until he meets Bosch. Now that there's... Now that that's out of the way, let's get one thing straight here. This isn't a pleasure cruise. You come with us, you pull your weight. Do I have your attention? Full attention. Just leave the repair job to me, I'm a fast learner. It took me only two years to get the alphabet down. Ah, uh, right. Okay, well, good for you. Well... It's probably a good thing that only, like, seven people are gonna watch this. But in any case, thank all seven of you for watching this episode of Breath of Fire 2 Retranslation. I still go by Mega Harve, and I will meet you back at that place where Bosch is that I can't even call the name of at this moment in time. So thanks again. Hope to see you next time. I did that backwards. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? That was... That was simultaneously the best and worst episode of anything I've ever done in my life. All kinds of puns started out great, and then it just got all weird and odd and strange and uncomfortable. Bye.